Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to make an animation. So, from the first video when we rendered the image, remember you save this as an OBJ. You want to go ahead and open up your key shot. And you want to open up that same OBJ that you saved. We named ours 5, so we're going to go to our desktop, and that's 5. So we want to open it, and again, remember you want to... The orientation, you want it to be Z up. That's how you want to open up the actual ring. Okay, so once you figured out placement, I'm going to go ahead and open up your library. And again, we did the shank platinum, the head platinum, and the details were 24 karat gold. And again, the gem, you can select diamond, you can select the topaz, it's really any, any, any stone you'd like. In this case, I want it to look like a diamond, but we're going to select crystal. So then you go again to environments, and you want to select the environment that you want for your piece. Back plates, I'm going to choose the exact same back plate, which is a Firestorm CAD. Now, for the rendered image, you selected rendered. Now we're going to go into animation. So you want to go to the animation wizard, and you would like to select turntable for the model part animation. This is the actual model itself. If you go to camera animation, the, the actual model would stay still while the camera either orbits zooms, there's inclination or translation. But in this case we want for the actual piece to move, so we're going to select turntable and you hit next. You want to select the model because that's what we want to move and you want to select next. So now you have the actual So next, you want to select this eye, which is actually the preview. You want to select that, and it's going to start rendering. It renders frame by frame, and it should take no longer than five minutes. Um, I'm actually going to speed this process up a little bit for tutorial purposes. And it renders frame by frame. So then you have your complete animation. Once the ring is complete, it's going to actually do the actual animation once to show you what it is it did. There you have it. Now you want to make sure you won't want to exit this one out the way you did when you rendered the image. This one you have to save um, a little differently. So since we named everything else 5, it's going to save under as AVI. Again, we're going to name it 5. We're going to select to save it on the desktop and save. So now it's been saved on our desktop. We can exit out of all of this. And there you have it. Your animation. Thank you.